Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got a triangle ABC, as you can see in this diagram, such that this line segment AB is divided into two segments in a ratio of 1 to 2. And moreover, this angle B is 45 degrees and this angle D is 60 degrees. And now we are going to calculate this angle X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's look at this angle that is 60 degrees. And we know this whole angle is 180 degrees. Therefore, this angle is going to be 180 degrees minus 60 degrees is going to make 120 degrees. No wonder I wrote down angle BDC is 120 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's pick a point P on this uh, line segment CD, point P somewhere here, such that this line segment BD and this line segment PD are equal. And we know that this line segment BD is one unit. So therefore, this line segment PD is going to be one unit as well. And here's our next step. We connected these points P and this uh, vertex B as you can see over here. And we also connected this point P with this vertex A as well as you can see. And now here's our next step. Let's focus on this triangle BDP. And we know that this is an isosceles triangle since this side length uh, BD equal to this side length uh, PD. So therefore, this angle has got to be equal to this angle. So therefore, these two angles, this angle and this angle have got to be 30 degrees each since the sum of these uh, three angles, 120 degrees, this one, 30 degrees and 30 degrees is going to make 180 degrees. No wonder I wrote down angle PBD is 30 degrees. And moreover, this angle PBC is going to be 45 minus 30 equals to 15 degrees. And in this next step, let's focus on this triangle APD. And I have here copied down this triangle over here. We know that this side length is one unit and this side length two unit. Then we can see that this is a special 30, 60, 90 triangle. So therefore, this angle PAD is going to be 30 degrees and this angle APD is going to be 90 degrees. And now let's focus on this triangle APB and we know that this is an isosceles triangle since this angle is 30 degrees and this angle is 30 degrees as well. So therefore we conclude that these side lengths AP and this side length PB are equal in length. And now in this next step let's focus on this triangle BCD. We know that this angle is 45 degrees and this angle is 120 degrees. And we also know that the sum of the angles in any triangle is 180 degrees. So therefore, our this angle BCD is going to be 15 degrees. And now let's focus on this triangle BPC. And we know that this is an isosceles triangle since this angle BCD and this angle CBP, both of them are 15 degrees each. So therefore, we conclude that these side length BP and this side length CP, they are equal. 
And here's our final step. Let's focus on this triangle ABC. We know that this angle is 90 degrees. And we also know that this is an isosceles triangle since this side length AP and this side length CP are equal. So therefore, we conclude that this angle has got to be this angle. So therefore, we conclude that these two angles, angle CAP and this angle ACP are 45 degrees each. And we can see that the sum of these angles in this triangle APC is 180 degrees as well. So therefore, our this angle A is going to be the sum of these individual angles 45 degrees plus 30 degrees. So therefore, I can write this one as 30 degrees plus 45 degrees, which is equal to 75 degrees. So therefore, our angle A turns out to be 75 degrees. But we knew that our this angle A is equal to x. So therefore, we conclude that our x angle turns out to be 75 degrees. So thus our angle x turns out to be 75 degrees. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.